morning. Welcome on Martin channel. I have the intention to show you some uh, auto feed on the Scheiblin 102 VM today. It is uh, <clears throat> in the morning, so I'm fresh to make some clips. Um, you have to locate your stopping rod uh, so it will stop when you're uh, at the, the place where you want to stop. You have to do this before you start the machine. So you do this in a dry run when it is moving the lever or not moving the lever. Is the lever not moving when pressing? Obviously not. Oh, doch. You see the lever moving when you hit the point. When the lever is moving down, it is disengaging. It has two directions where it can disengage down and up. So this bar inside here goes left and right and inside there is some triangle that kicks out some pin underneath from the half knot. So it is for the mechanics. Um, I feed on the machine about 0 0.4 with this um, high-tech cutting insert. This is a Tulox uh, 44. It is a pre-hardened tool steel. It is uh, tough as, as is, it's really a tough material. Um, the inserts get used. Normally I use a C45. The inserts last for two months what, what, or longer. But uh, with this <coughs> steel, they get chewed up. But hey, it is okay for me. Uh, I have some steps inside there. They get um, um, turned out later, not because I had to adjust uh, the auto feed stop. Yeah, what you have to do is you <coughs> start obviously the machine. You pull slowly down the sleeve until the half nut um, locks into the light spindle, and then you watch the machine travel forward in the left direction. When it is not uh, traveling in the left direction, you have to take this lever up, then the direction changes in to the right direction. <coughs> or to the direction in the right, on the right side, that is uh, appropriate. Well, okay, let's start. Start slowly, of course. Move in your carriage. It's now not doing nothing because I wanted to check for the zero. Now we are on 12. We go to 17. That is uh, for 0 0.5 millimeters inside. I have made this green plastic here so the machine don't spit anywhere some chips. There we are. Now, we disengage the machine when it is not doing on its own. Well, and that's it. It's all the magic that happens. Again, I travel 5, 0 0.5 inside. Pull the lever nut slowly until it locks in. And then I stop it by hand because I'm not certain it stops at the right place, so... Oh, it had wood stopped. Well, and that is how you auto feed with the Schäublin 102 VM. Pull the lever down until it engages. Uh, like this. Voila. Then it starts to move and it starts to feed. And then you need your hook so you don't touch inside the, the chips. Yeah. 
Well, I have to clean some stuff up here. There's some moving around. Well, now you know how to use this auto lever mechanism. When you did new before, hallelujah. <laughs> okay, I will turn down this to uh, OD of uh, two centimeters. And this will be the, the next step. Also, oh yeah. This will be the next step, this uh, short ring here, or this in intention, or the insertion, I believe insertion, but uh, well, my English is not perfect. Um, so I can cut here a M20 thread, this has to go to 20 millimeters, this has about 10, there is a, uh, a face inside down, uh, some cone shape. This will become an adapter piece for my uh, Kuhlmann uh, Stichelschleifmaschine. It is a, uh, some uh, old um, drill bit grinder from the 40s or 50s maybe. Yeah, about 50s. It's not that new and it's not that old. The machine here is about uh, 90 years old but works with the extreme good finish at least for my experience also this finish here is not perfect i didn't perfect it but this is flat and nice this here too this will become flat and nice too this is dirty but it is uh, it turns really great for what it is this two locks 44 it is somewhat too hard on my uh, uh, inserts here carbide inserts but well, doesn't matter. The inside is to turn is really difficult because um, of the chatter the tool makes. I don't have a good tool for inside cutting. I have to review what I use next. Also, I don't make 100 of these, but uh, I make now three of them and all have this chatter inside. But that's not that bad, at least um, for what it is intended to use. So. <clears throat> well, leave a thumbs up here. Thank you. Then the channel will grow, and uh, I can, uh, well, maybe someday buy with your money some inserts <laughs> because, well, <clears throat> we are not all millionaires. Uh, well, that's about it. This adapter plates. Uh, the inside cone is uh, 14 degrees, 14 or 15, I thought it was 14. So when you want to copy this, um, it is uh, inside, f it has the 14 degree, on the up opening it is uh, 15 millimeters and down there I assume it is 10, I don't know, I didn't measure. Up here I made 10, this is uh, what 20 and this is 10 millimeters and this is 22 this is a, a, a six millimeter hole for in, insert uh, to insert a m6 uh, screw so you can uh, screw this on the machine it is uh, bolted on the machine so well that's all for, for today uh, enjoy your Schäublin vm 102 vm machine I have to carry on. Goodbye. Leave the thumbs here. Thank you. Bye. Uh.